dear students in this lecture of software engineering we discuss about the requirement analysis requirement analysis tasks and principles and in last we we will we will explain about the principles of requirement analysis what is requirement analysis requirement analysis is the activity during which requirements captured during requirements elicitation are analyzed for conflicts inconsistencies and missing requirements during this activity negotiation between all the stakeholders occur to arrive at the set of agreed upon requirements and most important part of the analysis is to model the system to understand what is requirement analysis requirement analysis is the process of studying user needs to arrive at definition of system hardware or software requirements and it is also defined as the process of studying and refining the system hardware or software requirements requirements analysis helps to understand interpret classify and organize the software requirements in order to assess the feasibility completeness and consistency of requirements and in requirement analysis various tasks are performed to resolve the conflicts that arise due to unclear and unspecified requirements to determine the operational characteristics of the software to understand the problem for which the solution is to be developed to develop the analysis model to analyze the requirements in the requirement analysis as we know that there are two parties involved in the software development and during the requirement analysis these there is a communication between the client and developer and there is a communication gap and during requirement analysis this communication gap is minimized through the interactions or meeting next is analysis model analysis modeling have been performed and analysis model is created which emphasizes on the information functions that software should perform and on the behavior it should exhibits analysis model connects the system specification and design model and this is shown in the next in the figure it is shown that analysis model act, uh, act as a connector between the system specification and design model system uh, description provides information about the entire functionality of the system which is achieved by implementing the software hardware and data in addition the analysis model specifies the software design in the form of design model which provides information about the software architecture and interface and component level structure and the various guidelines are there for the analysis model analysis model should focus on the requirements that are present within the problem and with the detailed information about the problem domain analysis model should describe the information domain functions and behavior of the system and it should be useful to all the st stakeholders and the analysis model should be simple and understandable and there are several requirement analysis principles and the set of principles are the information domain of problem must be represented and understood the functions that the software is to perform must be defined the behavior of the software must be represented and the model is essentially depiction of information function and behavior which must be partitioned in the manner that uncovers detail in layered manner the analysis process should move from essential information toward the implementation detail now we will discuss ab about the requirement analysis principles in detail the first principle is about the information domain of the problem and the problem must be represented and understood all the software applications can be collectively called data processing where the software is built to process data and to transform data from one form to another 
it requires the examination of information domain and creation of data model the second principle is about the functional model the functional model is to be developed which describes all the functions to be performed a functional model is created to gain, gain better understanding to accomplish this it must perform three generic functions that is input process and output initially the problem specific functions are focused so the context level model is developed and the main function is then decomposed into low level functions to provide more details the third operational principles of the requirement analysis is about the behavioral model the behavioral model is to be developed due to the third operation principle of requirement analysis and this model is used to describe the overall behavior of the system the fourth principle is about partitioning principle it suggests that the information functional and behavioral domains of the software can also be partitioned the partitioning of information flow and the system behavior will provide additional details into the software requirements the next principle is about the essential and implementation views the essential view of the software requirements present the functions to be accomplished and information to be processed without going into implementation details the implementation view of the software requirements presents the real world manifestation of processing functions and information structure students if you have not seen the previous videos of this channel then there is a link for the playlist of all the previous videos